Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, I'm Commissioner Mitchell the third, yeah, of District One, and welcome to the 18th annual virtual 2020 September Saturdays Festival. Yeah, this is gonna be an awesome layout. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. This is altogether new, and I've got my co-host uh, Lena Hardy, Hardy rather. And Lena, I guess, I guess you just say welcome. I guess, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Commissioner. I am Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy, and thank you for joining us for an evening of celebration. Well, you do that so well. I'm just <laughs> proud of you. I'm proud of you. Okay, September Saturdays is the largest annual event and the community event that we have right here in Douglas County. Its sole purpose is to foster and uh, put a sense of community gathering and all the residents come together and we just kind of hang out, but now we're doing it virtually. So you guys gotta understand that though. But it's a lot of fun, it's fellowshipping, it's camaraderie. And when we have an inclusion of all of those that are in Douglas County, and this is the place where we call home. Exactly. Yeah. And a community becomes stronger when we are willing to honor its history and welcome its future with open arms. A community becomes stronger when we can celebrate together. Now, due to COVID-19, the celebration is different this year, but the celebration of community togetherness and joy shall continue. With that being said, I think we should get this party started. What do you think, Commissioner Mitchell? I'm down with that. Let's 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 get it started. Let, let, let's do it. I, I kind of hear that song, celebrate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I better stop right there. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. We, we kind of we, we kind of kick September Saturday. This is the 18th annual one, and we kind of kick it off with a nice program as we salute and you know start with the national anthem and a song that we've got now from a Douglas County school super excuse me a Douglas County system school educator who's going to sing the national anthem from Beulah Elementary. Let's give a nice 18th annual September Saturday warm welcome to Nicole Escobar. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Oh, now that was awesome. Thank you, Nicole. And now a message from Douglas County Commissioner, Vice Chairman of District 2. Let's give a nice and warm welcome to Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Greetings, Douglas County. My name is Kelly Robinson. I am the Vice Chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners representing District 2. I want to welcome you to this year's September Saturdays 2020, a virtual experience. Um, during this pandemic time, we recognize that we must continue to live on. We must move forward, but we must do so in a very safe manner. But in doing so in the blanket of that safety, we must all recognize those who are out there ahead of us. I wanna, want you to join me in thanking the first responders, the healthcare workers, the armed forces and the educators that are showing the way for us, that are preparing the way for us to continue to live our lives as we best we can. So again, I want all of you to join me with this September Saturdays 2020, a virtual experience. Uh, and again, have fun, join with your friends and with your family, and let's make it a great one. Thank you and have a good one. To honor the tradition and uniqueness of September Saturdays, this is the first of four scheduled programs to air each Saturday in the month of September. 
Each program will focus on a particular theme relating to Douglas County, and we are dedicating this show to honoring our first responders. A first responder is a person who specialized in training and, and specialized training who is among the first that arrive and provide assistance at the scene of an emergency. That's right, Commissioner Mitchell. And throughout tonight's show, we will hear from individuals who are familiar with responding to these emergencies and given the task to protect and keep our community safe. Our first conversation of the night is with our Douglas County Fire Chief, Scott Spencer. Thank you, Chief, for being here. Well, thank you, Lena. We appreciate that. So let's jump right into it. With the coronavirus pandemic, it's been an extremely challenging few months, especially for our first responders. As the fire chief, can you briefly explain the fire department's role in maintaining the health and well-being of citizens in this pandemic? Well, what, what a thoughtful question. Uh, we, we are true first responders. The, uh, the men and women of the fire department are out there on that front line. They're answering the calls. Uh, when someone calls 911 and, and there's a fire or they feel ill, they call us. Uh, we respond and take care of them. Uh, that's our job. That's, that's not changed. So while you'll still get the same response, we may look a little bit different when we show up uh, because we're trying to protect not only the citizens but ourselves from uh, any of the COVID-related uh, illness. So we may have on face masks, face shields, gowns, gloves, uh, almost look like a, a hazmat suit uh, when we come in. One thing that 911 may ask you is if you're able to meet us at the door uh, and can meet us at the door, we will bring our stretcher to the door and put you on the stretcher there instead of us having to come in your house. Uh, but that's only if, if you can, can do that safely. Uh, uh, what we're trying to do is limit the exposure uh, to both our people and to the citizens. Uh, another thing that, that we will probably do is put a uh, mask on you if we respond to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, that's, you know, masks are so important nowadays to, to help prevent the spread. So that's what we're trying to do there. Mm -hmm. And as we continue to minimize the spread of coronavirus, um, of course, the, de the communications department is making adjustments by having the September Saturdays festival virtually. So what does September Saturdays mean to you? Well, September Saturdays to me means community. Uh, it really does. Uh, this is the, the opportunity that, that we get to visit with our citizens uh, and lots of citizens, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, throughout the day. Uh, it gives us ch uh, a chance to interact with them, uh, let them know what we do, because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of citizens are not aware uh, of exactly what we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, so it gives us an opportunity to uh, to interact with them, uh, to thank them for supporting our department, uh, and of course the you know the kids, uh, and by kids I mean pretty much anybody that likes the BRTs, the big red trucks. Right. Uh, uh, that, they just love to, you know, climb on our fire trucks and, and see see what their tax money's been paying for. And, <laughs> exactly. Uh, it, it gives us an opportunity to thank them for for supporting us the way they do. Uh, and, and Douglas County does support emergency services. They they really do. So that's what it means to me. It's a it's a chance uh, to be in the community and be part of the community. Awesome. And I don't think a lot of people know, but you have a pretty large role in traditional September Saturdays by being available for any emergencies on the courthouse grounds. What situations usually take place at the event? Well, we've been uh, we've been involved with September Saturdays since its inception. Uh, so that's, gosh, I guess close to 20 years now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, so for, from the get-go, uh, our, our role has been kind of help coordinate with the communications, uh, provide first aid uh, mm -hmm. for anybody that may get hurt or injured during those those times, uh, and just kind of be a presence there. Uh, uh, a lot of times when, when you know you have firefighters or EMTs 
kind of on the standby. Mm-hmm. Uh, that gives a, a little sense of peace to them. Uh, m- most of the kind of uh, calls that we respond to are trips and falls, you know, scrape knees, uh, people getting too hot. <laughs> yes, uh, it's hot out there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so uh, over the years, we've transported a couple to the hospital, but most of the time, that we, you know, we treat them right there on on the courthouse grounds, and mm-hmm. and uh, they go along their their merry way. So. That, that's pretty much our role there is we try to uh, help coordinate with the communications. Uh, I know uh, uh, your department gets several radios from us and, and uh, uh, with our new radio system, now we can talk uh, with, with a lot of other departments too. We can go to a, a specified channel and, and everybody be able to talk to whoever they need to. So that's a, that's a pretty neat, mm-hmm. neat thing. Awesome. And so finally, how do you think September Saturdays honors our first responders? Well, you just can't help but swell with pride when when you see that that big American flag uh, unfurled on on the front of our courthouse. Uh, And then there's there's special programs usually throughout the day uh, when they they would call first responders up on the the courthouse steps. Believe it or not, most first responders are kind of camera shy and and they don't really like a lot of attention. Uh, but but it is certainly very humbling uh, to be recognized by the community for what we do, uh, and and we do appreciate that. Uh, we're uh, oftentimes I say that that we're, we're nothing special. We're, we're just people that do ordinary things in extraordinary circumstances. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and, and I've been blessed to do that for a long time now. So I'm, uh, that, that, that's what September Saturdays and, and Heroes Day means to me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well on, well, on behalf of myself and the communications department, and I know I speak for the community, uh, you, Chief, and the fire department, you are all very special to us, and we thank you all for what you do, especially during these difficult times. Uh, Thank you for allowing me to interview you and thank you for being here. Well, thank you, Lena. And we just, uh, we appreciate everything y'all are doing. Y'all are a huge, a huge spoke in this wheel uh, because getting that information out, that's huge. And we, we, we appreciate it. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Chief Spencer, great job. Thank you so much for taking part in this virtual September Saturday. And, you know, COVID-19 might've shut down a lot of things, but we made sure that we still kept the tradition of September Saturdays. And that's what we're doing now virtually. Lena, I just want to say, great job. You look well. I'm trying to count all the balloons behind you, though. So. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, uh, great job. And I think it's going to be awesome to those who are watching September Saturdays virtually. Now, let's kick off uh, the night with an, uh, one of our musical performances. Here's a song, uh, just a snippet, where you can kind of snap your fingers and have some fun. What, what? Let's hey, let's do a performance right now. Get ready to just have some fun and snap your fingers, all right?
The Board of Commissioners have always participated in September Saturdays to engage with citizens of Douglas County. Here's a message from the Board of Commissioners on the importance of community. Hello, I'm Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones and I'm the chairwoman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. And I am so delighted that you have joined us for this virtual September Saturday. I, just like everyone else, wished we were in the moment in time when COVID-19 didn't exist, but this too shall pass and we will move past this. But I would like to say uh, a special thanks to our first responders and to our law enforcement and to our community performances from our school choirs, starting from the elementary all the way to high school. We appreciate you. And also would like to recognize our veterans and our teachers for their a major contribution in uh, Douglas County. September Saturdays means so much to me. It's a fall time. That's one of my favorite times of the year. I love the fall. It's, I like to see the leaves uh, just trickling off the trees. I like the cool weather, but for some reason, last, the last couple of, couple of September Saturdays has been extremely warm, but that's okay. September Saturdays means so much to me. I have an opportunity to walk through uh, just the, the parking lot of the courthouse and shake hands and talk one-on-one -on -one with all our citizens. And you tell me about all the great things that are happening in your individual lives and also some concerns you may have that the, myself and the Board of Commissioners could address. And I appreciate you all for that. I enjoy, and also I just would be remiss if I say I, I uh, miss all the vendors out there with all the fun food, the funnel cakes and the Chick-fil-A and all the different types of foods that I probably don't need, but I really, really miss and enjoy September Saturdays. But guess what? This is a fun September Saturdays. We will celebrate in the 21st century uh, virtually. Uh, it is the 150th uh, birthday celebration of Douglas County, and we are celebrating September Saturdays uh, virtually, but I just want you all to know that, again, congratulations uh, and thank you for allowing the Board of Commissioners to host another September Saturdays here in Douglas County. Thank you. Hello, District 3 citizens and the residents of Douglas County. I'm Terenia Carthen, your District 3 Commissioner, and I just wanted to say welcome to this September Saturday. We are delighted to show our support for our first responders, to our healthcare workers, our armed forces, and the entire community of Douglas County. The unity and the support that we have received during this COVID-19 is so desperately needed. But we just didn't want to stop the celebration. We wanted to celebrate all of those who continue to tirelessly uphold this community. So to our elected officials and our citizens and all of our healthcare workers, first responders, armed forces, thank you. We salute you. Hello, I'm Ann Jones Guider, your uh, District 4 Commissioner, and I'm coming from the western side of the county. Although I like te technology about as much as the next fella, I really miss the human contact. Uh, that we've lost because of the COVID-19 virus. Hopefully we will be getting back to normal soon. And I know many prayers are being lifted up for a vaccine that will ward off this terrible pandemic. District 4 is somewhat different than the other three districts. Uh, being the, uh, the largest district in the county, District 4 not only encompasses Arbor Place Mall, but also stretches all the way west to the city of Villarica, Georgia, in particular the Mirror Lake Golf Community. Although this uh, golf club requires membership, Mirror Lake houses two of the most beautiful 18-hole courses you can find. I know this because I've had the pleasure and opportunity to play out there many times. <clears throat> District 4 begins at the northern county line butting up against Paulden County and extends to the southernmost border of the county where it meets Carroll County and that is in the Fair Play area. And although we have part of two cities incorporated in District 4 with many subdivisions and apartment complexes, the majority of District 4 is full of beautiful rolling pastures and open fields 
it being more rural than uh, the other county uh, district in the county. And most of the homes actually are attached to several acres. It also is the home of the unique Dog River Library with uh, that in the woods decor and which is surrounded by walking trails and a disc golf course. One of the most visited area in Douglas in uh, District 4 is the beautiful Clinton Park, a passive park of over 200 acres featuring mountain bike trails, a walking track, miles of hiking trails, a playground area, um, picnic tables, a dog park, and there are also some old historical homesteads on, uh, within the compounds of the park, and there are campgrounds for the nonprofit organizations. In fact, many of our schools hold their cross country track meets at Clinton Park, as does Sorba, the Southern Off Road Bicycle Association. They hold many of their bike events there too. So if you are the outdoor enthusiast, you should plan to visit Clinton Park off of Ephesus Church Road because there's something out there for everyone. The southern part of District 4 is also the home of a farm belonging to the famous ice cream company, King of Pops. And it is also the future home of a unique wellness preserve to be built in the next few years on 1,000 acres. This facility will be visited by people from all around the globe, and it will prove to be green and clean as the developers are very dedicated in protecting the environment and the water supply. Many of the residents in District 4 refer to it as God's country, and we all want to preserve it in that manner. We certainly welcome you to visit, but remind you to please respect it and don't leave uh, any dirty footprints, such as your trash or your cigarette butts. Many new homes are being built out in our area, and it could be your future home one day. So stay safe, and thank you, and God bless. It's so good to hear from the Board of Commissioners on things that we're doing and all that's happening right here in Douglas County. Even though COVID-19 put us, you know, back a moment, but we still going to have some great fun at this September Saturdays as round number one. For the second interview of the night, Douglas County Communications and Community Relations Director. Mm, that's a nice long title. Let's give a nice <laughs> September Saturday warm welcome for our dear friend Rick Martin with a brief conversation with the sheriff of Douglas County. Thank you, Sheriff, for being here. It's a pleasure, Rick. Oh, Sheriff, I'm so glad and happy you've been able to uh, set aside some time. And I know you have meetings to come, so I'll be, you know, rather brief. What adjustments, Sheriff, did you in your office make to continue serving and protecting the community during this coronavirus pandemic? Rick, we've done a kind of alternate shift. We put everybody in uniform, basically, the detectives, everybody in uniform, that way patrol and have to work as many hours without days off. So everybody's working, and I think we cut down the office. Instead, everybody coming to work every day. We have one and warrants, clerks, one and records, and it rotates around to, to get everybody that way. You have a less chance on spreading that the COVID. We also in the jail. Every time an inmate is arrested, there's quarantine for 14 days separate from other inmates until we for sure they don't have the COVID. And uh, that's, well, that's, that's about all the ways that we've been doing. Super. You know, Sheriff, you're a Douglas County native, and I know you're familiar with September Saturdays and the annual event. What does September Saturdays mean to you? It means a great deal to me simply because that's where the community come together as a whole, and you got different vendors there, 
may say of this, may say of that, but everybody in Douglas County that have opportunity to usually visit September Saturdays because it's, it's more than one day event. And uh, I, I, I love it because I get around shaking folks' hands, see folks I ain't seen in a long time, Rick, and it just, like I said, it's just a community get together for me. It means a lot to me. Wow, that is awesome. How does September Saturdays honor our first responders? Now, Rick, that's a good question because they treat everybody wonderful. And uh, I, ain't, I, I have never went there and had a bad day at September Saturday. And I try to attend every last one of them just because the feeling I get seeing a senior citizen out there, seeing good, healthy folks out there, just having a relationship with the public as a whole. Sheriff, I have a really important question to ask. During these times, amongst a COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic and social unrest, you know, there's a lot of stress going on. And really, the key question I have to ask you is, how do you think we can continue to bridge the gap between the community and law enforcement? Rick. Get out there in the community, be among the folks, talk to the folks, find out what's going on in their particular area, and stay in tune with the sheriff's office. You know, if you got a problem, Rick, I want you to call. They ain't too small, they ain't too big for you to call the sheriff's office. Call. If I can get everybody on the same page, that means some extra eyes out there looking when we can't be out there looking. So these neighborhood watch mean a whole lot to me and the community and the sheriff's office because that way we got several sets of eyes watching at all times, Rick. But if you get out there and wave at the folks, say, hey, see how you doing? And go into different business and introduce yourself and tell them who you are and why you there, have any problems, contact the sheriff's office, leave a business card with them so they know who they're talking with and so forth and so on. Tell me something, Sheriff. I hear you might have some job openings. Is that true? Yes, I got a few, Rick, because uh, I never did want to interfere with the school police. If the superintendent made a choice to make his own police department, I ain't got no problem with that. So therefore, a lot of my guys left and continued to be resource officers with the Douglas County school system. And so I think it's about... I think I lost eight out of the 19 I had there. Eight of them left and the rest of them stayed. But uh, the slots is filling quickly. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sheriff, thank you for allowing me to speak with you for our virtual celebration of September Saturdays. As always, we thank you for serving and protecting our community. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, Rick. Anytime I can deal with Rick Martin, I love it. It's, you call me anytime you need to. For the third interview of the night, I had the opportunity to speak with City of Douglasville's Chief Gary Sparks. We talked about everything from the adjustments officers have made during the pandemic and how it's important for officers to remain connected to the community. Thank you, Chief, for being here. Uh, thanks for having me. As the city police chief, your job is hard enough without a pandemic. Yet here we are in the middle of COVID-19. As the police chief, what adjustments did the police department make to continue serving and protecting the community during the pandemic? Well, some of the things we've done, uh, our procedures as it relates to having people to come to the police station, uh, we. Uh, change some of that around. Um, another thing we've done is, uh, you know, make sure that some of the calls that's coming in from 911 that we may can handle them by phone other than officers going out. Mm -hmm. uh, and our uh, procedures as, as far as, uh, you know, arrest procedures, we uh, change that and our roll call procedures. Uh, our officers have uh, take home cars, so you know, we, uh, our roll call, we usually have them to come in and sit down for 15 minutes to go over pertinent information. So we change that to maybe they come in like once during the shift and mm -hmm. uh, 
talk to them out in the field and then everybody just coming in to one location and having a mass amount of people there. So, and uh, we just uh, refining it as it goes. All right, awesome. And so I know that you're a Douglas County native. Yes. So I know you're familiar with September Saturday's annual event. What does September Saturdays mean to you? Well, to me, it's a great way for my officers and the police department to um, be able to show the, the citizens what we have for them and how we protect them and how we serve them. It's a way for us to show the citizens that uh, we are one with them. You know, during this time, uh, you know, you hear a lot about uh, police is not in tune with the community. Well, our philosophy here at Douglasville Police is we are one with the community. Mm -hmm. And we're servant, servant, uh, uh, we are serve, here to serve the community. So that's a way that we can get out and show the community that we true to what we say we are about. And they get to see some of the technology that we utilize to help keep them safe. So it, it is just a good, joyous time for people to come and, and just have a conversation uh, uh, with our officers and, and mm -hmm. our officers have a conversation with them. So it's a great time of the, of the year. And how do you think September Saturdays honors our first responders? Well, it's just an honor just to be able to come together and, and having the people to come to us. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's the whole honor is just put something together where people will come from the community to, uh, to come and uh, see what we have to uh, keep them safe. So by putting together a uh, program like September Saturdays where the people will come and we'd be able to give them some of the uh, some little trinkets that we give to the kids and to the parents that in itself to just have a place that they can come and see us mm -hmm. you know, they can come to the police department any day of the week any time and come and uh, see what we do and learn about our philosophies and learn about our vision, but on September Saturdays, it's a large congregation of people coming in and enjoying the festivities and we can uh, let them understand what our philosophy is as far as policing and our, and our vision for the city uh, and, and keeping it safe. So that's, mm -hmm. that's a great thing in itself. Yeah, and I know your motto and philosophy is we are one. How do you think we can just continue to uphold that motto? Well, by just going out to the community and continue to serve, you know, mm -hmm. this is a service field and, yes. and, and just going out and let the people know that uh, uh, that's the foremost thing that we do is, is service and, uh, and coming in contact with them, going out and playing, shooting some basketball hoops with some of the kids in the neighborhood that's, that's shooting ball. Uh, you know, going knocking on the doors in the, in the neighborhoods and just introduce ourselves to them and let them know that, hey, I'm Chief Sparks, I'm the chief, and, and uh, this is what we do in the serve the community. So we have our officers go and knock on doors and introduce themselves to the community. So mm -hmm. that's just another way of just showing that, hey, we are one, we're not separate. We are equal in the theme and keeping our community safe. Because the community has a has a stake in keeping itself uh, safe, as well as we have a stake in riding and making sure that things are safe for our citizens. So uh, we have to work together. Yes, for sure. Well, Chief Sparks, thank you for allowing me to interview thank you for this virtual celebration. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Lena, just before we wrap up the party for this evening of September Saturday. Let's have one more musical performance. You hear this message wherever you stand Calling every woman, calling every man We're the generation, we can't afford to wait The future started yesterday and we're already late We've been looking for a song 
search for someone to lead we've been looking for the world to change if you feel the same then go on and say if you're out Broken promises, no more call to war. Unless it's love and peace that we're really fighting for. We can destroy hunger, we can conquer hate. Put down the arms and raise your voice. We're joining in. Wow, what a performance and what a show. And this is only part one of the celebration. That's right, Lena, you're absolutely correct. We've got three more to go, so round one of September Saturdays. But I want you to kind of stick around and hang around with us because next Saturday, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome September Saturdays. Uh, that'll be September 12th at seven o'clock when we'll do uh, this all again and this all happens again next Saturday. Now, next Saturday, we're gonna focus on community. You know, Lena, you know, community is so important, especially to the Board of, Com the board of Commissioners. We, we so believe in trying to give back to our community. That's why we do what we do. So make sure that next Saturday, September 12th, 7 p.m., that you're watching DC 23 as we do this all over again, and it will be all about community. I'm just one Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Thank you for watching. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. Hi, I'm Anita Granger from the DUI Drug Court, and I love September Saturdays. We're human resources, and we love September Saturdays. We are the staff at Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, and we love September Saturdays. I'm Sherry Mathis with the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, and I love September Saturdays. Oh, hey, I'm County Librarian Lindy Moore, and I love September Saturdays. Hi, I'm Laurie Ebanks from the Douglas County Public Library, and I love September Saturdays. This is Mark Teal, County Administrator, and I love September Saturdays. I'm Madeline, and I love September Saturdays. Hi, I'm Winnie the Pooh, and I'm the Cat in the Hat. And we're from the Dog River Public Library. And we love September Saturdays! Hi, we're from the Records Department. And we love September Saturdays. I'm Tammy Howard. And we are the Clerk of Superior State Court. I'm Melanie Stinson, switchboard operator and communications assistant for Douglas County, and this is my daughter, Cora. And we love September Saturdays. Bye!